Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. I am fully coastal grandmother vibes today. This is another incredible Amazon dress. This is that shape from Amazon that I absolutely love and it's so good when I have to potter out to my greenhouse um, because it doesn't drag on the floor because I'm about to do some watering. However, I am going to put on a big cardigan because it is still miserable here in the UK. I don't know what is going on, but it is making me exceptionally sad that at the moment we don't seem to have lovely weather sad times. However, like I said, I do want to potter out to the greenhouse um, because I haven't watered for a while and it's just had a bit of a brush down um, because it's sometimes, it starts to get quite a lot of cobwebs in them sometimes and I'm sorry, I can't do anything about those. So I asked my gardener to like brush them down. I was like, don't you dare water my plants. That's for me to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna head out there and water them. But I've had some deliveries arrive today. So I thought I'd get these out of the way and open with you. Um, I, I did a huge beauty pie order. Um, I also ordered some new sunglasses and I've got some stuff that's come from Arvel as well. And I've also ordered a new bag. Now I had, this is, I haven't done this for a very long time, but this is a bag that I actually put my name on the waiting list for, for when it got restocked. I think I saw it somewhere on TikTok and I was like, what is that bag? The bag sadly hasn't arrived yet and I don't know if it'll arrive before um, our trip, which we should be on our way back from when you're watching this. But um, yeah, I don't know if it will have arrived before, but it's a really lovely summer bag that's got that, like it's unbranded and um, it's the mix of like woven, I think it's seaweed, woven seaweed and um, tan leather. So lovely, I really, really hope they do it in a mini version. Carolina Herrera, if you are watching this, or you know, you, you're probably not, but if you happen to be, please make this bag in a mini version. I'm a big fan of Carolina Herrera bags. I already have uh, this little satchel one here, which I just love. If you're looking for that um, Hermes vibe with the same, well, similar quality, um, with the same kind of design attributes. They do a lot of the same things with like the leathers, with the contrast stitching and things like that. Then I think you'll really like Carolina Herrera bags. And I think that they are somewhat under, under, what's the word? Somewhat under, under, under. They are an underdog in the handbag world, I would say, because um, I feel like people just go for obviously the usual ones like Hermes, uh, Chanel, Dior or whatever. Although I, at the moment, am not um, too enthralled by Dior. That doesn't mean that like I don't love the brand or anything like that, but just at the moment, I'm not, I'm not loving what they're doing, but that's, I'm, I'm a huge Dior fan. I'll always wear my Lady Dior's, which I live, live for, Honestly, I could have a hundred lady deals and be the happiest person in the world. But at the moment, what they're releasing is not necessarily appealing to me. So, um, yes, but I feel like Carolina Herrera is an unsung hero and I don't understand why people don't talk about them more. If you want that Hermes aesthetic, then this is such a good option. Like I'll put these two side by side. Obviously they are different bags, admittedly different bags, but potato, potato. Okay, it's just, you're just saying it differently. <laughs> this is slightly more shinier, so you'll um, probably get scratches on, whereas this is a really nice durable leather. Um, but as you can see, gold hardware, contrast stitching, beautiful, beautiful leather. Um, and this doesn't have a top handle, but it's still a very, very good option. If they added a top handle or made this into like more of a square design, <gasps> It would be so lovely. Anyway, I digress, I digress. Let's get into these packages. I bought myself some new sunglasses because I I don't often buy sunglasses, mainly because quite often I lose them. Um, but my Celine ones are always like, they're just like the ones that I always reach for. And the reason why I like these is they had a bit of a vintage vibe to it. So I thought I would give them a go. And they're a slightly different shape to what I've used, like gone for in the past, slightly smaller. But I do find that my most worn pairs of sunglasses are my Celine ones. And I got these in a tortoise shell because I think the like tones of the tortoise shell would be really nice. And the thing that I loved about these, are, this does have a bit more branding than I usually go for on the side of anything. But it's the, it's the sort of vintage uh, Celine branding 
that I love. And that's what I think is one thing that you can go for all the time. If something has vintage, like if it has the, the sort of vintage logo that they have had for like many, many years, that's probably going to be your best bet when buying something. So the fact that this has had a bit of a resurgence anyway from them, but this is, it feels better. But anyway, these are the sunglasses. What do we think? So they're kind of like an oval shape, not too big, but they feel quite, I don't know. They feel quite classic. So let me know what you think. Do they suit me? I was thinking like, if I put my hair up, are they too wide? No, I think they're okay. What do we think? Anyway, I got these from Matches. They come in black as well, but I just liked that they felt a little bit vintage. Pop them back in the case. Then the beauty pie order. Oh my goodness. Basically, I needed to do a beauty pie order. I love shopping on beauty pie, okay? It is, I don't, I, I, I can't, I can't honestly explain it. Like it's the weirdest thing. The only thing I did do is I forgot candles. They're candles. The price and the smell and the intensity of the smell. Honestly, I need to order them before this video goes up because otherwise I know you're all gonna grab them before me. But I did a big old beauty pie order. I just needed so many bits and pieces. And so I thought, why not? Oh, it's making me very pink. I thought I'd unbox it with you. So first up in my beauty pie order, I got the, ooh, the Footopia um, Super Softening Foot and Heel Cream. Because one of the things that I like to do when I've like had a bit of an indulgent sort of beauty routine in the evening is I'll put a really beautiful hand cream on and I'll slather my feet in cream. I'll either put some socks on or I'll leave them like just free and I'll get into bed and let my hands and my feet just marinate. And this just sounded absolutely wonderful. It's with shea butter, cactus en enzymes, and microbiome, which I don't know what microbiome is. I should probably look into it, but that is going straight on my feet this evening. I also got myself the Super Healthy Skin Nourishing Lip Balm with SPF 30, because we are off somewhere, so I thought for my lips. And I also got, oh, someone else, someone raved about this to me. They said the, the perfect waterproof mascara because i don't know about you but i often get um like marks from my mascara on my eyelids i don't tend to use the sort of biphase eye oil um like remover thingies but i bought one to try and see if i can convert to a waterproof mascara and using one of those to take it off in the evening because i really hate getting those uh like black marks above my eyelids so i've treated myself to this, which honestly, I love a mascara recommendation. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna try that. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff in here. I'm gonna have to be quicker than this, otherwise it's gonna be the world's longest video. <gasps> I picked up a sharpener because I lost my sharpener, so I got myself a sharpener. I, ooh, I got myself the Super Cheek Cream Blush in Shade, Shade? shade what shade did i get fresh faced so at the moment i have the rodeal cheek drops thingies what they called drop tint drops blush drops <laughs> i've got those on my face which work really well but because i loved the under eye concealer so much i wanted to try this corally one please beauty pie do a lip balm in this color like a beautiful balmy lip balm oh i would love that i wonder if i can use this on my lips anyway i'm not going to try it now but I've loved their makeup so much that I was gonna try that. Then I got the One Palette Wonder, which looks very, very lovely. You know, I'm not huge on like eyeshadows and things like that. I like to just kind of rub stuff in and um, hope for the best. But this has like bronze blush, highlight, shadow, shadow, shadow. Um, but I reckon you could probably use those on your eyelids as well, those, those ones at the top. But it just looked like one of those things that especially when I'm traveling, I can just throw it into my handbag uh, or my um, makeup bag and it will be everything I could possibly need. And I'm, I'm, I'm fairly low maintenance when it comes to makeup. Uh, obviously I stocked up on my Japan Fusion. I do go through, the, through this quite quickly. I'm probably using too much, but if it works for my skin at these prices, I don't mind. So I stocked up on two more of my Japan Fusion Elixir because my skin loves it. That team with my Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic um, capsules 
it's honestly a match made in he heaven. It makes me very, very happy. Next up, we have eye makeup remover for when I use my waterproof mascara. So it is a bi-phase one, but hopefully that will mean that I can now just change over to waterproof so I no longer, like I'll edit a video and I'll be like, you have mascara on your eyebrows. Like what the hell? <laughs> and then I also got the Japan Deep Treatment Serum. Have I already got this? No, I have not. But I love the Japan Fusion stuff, so it's with antioxidant, vitamin C, and grape polyphenols. Oh my goodness. Hurry up, Lydia. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh! So I love the smell of the Super Healthy Skin Body Cream. I'm hoping this smells like it. It does. It's like tropically orange, like, it's not a normal orange, it's a tropical orange. Perfect for this time of year. Something just, mm. Honestly, it smells so good that you could eat it. A top up of my moisturizer. Love, love, love. Because I've finished my one of this. Ta-da! Big tub. Big happy tub. Then we have, Oh, this looked so blooming lovely. So this is the Beauty Pie Awesome Bronze Luxe Shimmer Oil Body Balm. Stop it. With deep nourishing vanilla and coconut milk. Apologies, I was a little bit um, away with the fairies then when I was unboxing and I needed to push my video live. Um, but this smells like, like caramelly, coconutty, chocolate so i think this will be really lovely for like holidays this is like the smell of holiday skin um and i think it'll probably just add a nice like depth to your skin give it a bit of like um iridescence and dewiness so um yeah i think that will be lovely i'm excited to try that i've not tried that one yet some of these are repeat purchases and some of them are not oh the super healthy hair blow dry spray coconut water heat shield styler now i am not as good at using heat protector sprays as i would like to be but this just spoke to me i love it oh my gosh it smells incredible this is like coconut pure summer I love, I just love everything that they do. That is gonna be the absolute dream. Section towel dried hair, spray coconut water, heat shield. It really helps protect hair from heat. Can also be used on dry hair. Perfect. I'm gonna do this right now. Cause that is what you want your hair to smell like. I hope they end up doing like a shampoo and conditioner that smells like that. And then I picked up some more of the Brazilian lime fig leaves and tea body lotion. This smells. Oh, this is for the earthy fragrance lovers amongst us, which you can go for the coconutty fragrances, but you can also go for this and it is beautiful. Beauty Pie, please do this in a really rich body cream because I would love that. We're almost there, we're almost there. We're almost at the end, I promise. Ooh, I love how they package things. So this is the Ginseng Root and Ginger Super Moisture Cream. It said rehydrating and brightening, re-energizing with flower growth factor and ceramide NG. That just, anything that's got brightening, re-energizing. And you know what? I know why I picked this up. I know why I picked this up. I don't know, maybe that's not why I picked it up. Brightening, re-energizing. Anyway, that, again, spoke to me. I went for the Pure Oxygen. See, it's got glow again. Glow moisture infusion. And so, and it's got thyme extract in it. Anything that's got thyme in it, I just love it. Mm. Oh my gosh, I, I'm not gonna know what to put on my face this evening. This is too much fun. And then, now this was a carry recommendation because like I said, all the girls in the office have beauty pie subscriptions and this is the Super Healthy Skin and Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. Oh yes. So the other two I would say are a bit more sort of lotion-y, whereas this is creamy. Oh. oh my goodness, that is so nice. That is blooming lovely. How 
exciting. Okay, two more, two more. These are brushes. So I wanted to um, treat myself to some new makeup brushes. I feel like makeup brushes are so expensive. Like it's actually ridiculous how expensive makeup brushes are. And so I like, I don't know why. I don't know why I do it, but I cling onto them like they're gold dust. And in reality, um, I probably needed a few like upgrades. I've got my Nancy ones, but these ones just looked really lovely. And I wanted to get, I see all of these like TikTok videos now and I'm like, oh, I need a fluffy brush for, for my bronzer and blusher. <laughs> Tucker, sucker. Yeah, so this looked good for like a little bit of blush. Just nice little tapered brush. And then this one for highlighting. I literally got so many brushes and I, I can't believe that I bought all this stuff and I still wanted to buy more and I completely screwed up. So I wanted to get a huge, because I don't have one of these, <gasps> huge big fluffy brush like this for bronzer just to bronze my life. Like when summer comes around, even though it's miserable, like you know, my life is gonna be bronze. Like it's just gonna be a bronzed life and Yeah, so that's for me to bronze my life with. Then I also got the all over face powder and a pro color angled cheek brush. Now I am still searching for a brush as good as Alex's. Alex has the most amazing MAC makeup brush that doesn't, they don't sell it anymore. And I'm trying to find one similar. Is this similar? Well, it's not similar, but I think it will work. And then we have a, the, the big all over face powder. Okay, that's enough of my beauty pie order because I've made the biggest mess of my dressing room ever and I need to tidy it up and we need to get out to the greenhouse and um, check on how everything's coming along. Ali? Yeah? I need your opinion. Okay. What? My sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> I've got my sunglasses inside for no reason. What do you want your, my opinion on? Are they nice? Do you like them? They're cool. What do you mean they're cool? But they're cool glasses, not really? timeless glasses. You don't think they're timeless? I think, well, I I've think, literally bought these because I thought they were timeless. They look like they're more, they've got big frames, big fat frames. But so do all of my Celine sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fashionista, my love. I think they're cool. I yes. They look cool. So if I'm buying a pair of sunglasses because I either intend to lose them <laughs> or I intend to wear them for a very long yeah. time. You can't say that they're a classic silhouette. See, I, I, I would, would say that they... I wouldn't say that I've ever seen that kind of style before. Really? No. But I'm just, I'm not saying I'm the best person to ask. No, I don't think you're the best person, no. Uh, well, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments because I thought, see, yeah, I, these are the kind of sunglasses that I picture the lady with the, with the um, headscarf over their head riding in her convertible. Um, yeah, I would say that that's not, not, untrue yeah that's what i was thinking yeah, but i don't that was like my 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 vibe but even I though we don't have a convertible because i obviously bought those um dior sunglasses with the funny frames yeah, i've got so many sunglasses that are not timeless yeah but i don't ever buy them and so this is like my first pair of sunglasses that i bought in a very long time mm. and i wanted something that wasn't because all of my sunglasses are quite big yeah um or I've bought trend pieces in the past, so I've actually, so I'm selling those, so I wanted, and Celine is the one brand that I always wear the same yeah, yeah, ones yeah. of. You're not certain on them. No, I'm just saying that I, I wouldn't say the silhouette is timeless, but I'm not, I've not done my research onto to sunglasses that last the test of time. <laughs> like they remind me of what, the, the kind of sunglasses that my stepmom would wear. They actually suit you. You're so annoying because all sunglasses Good. always suit you. Do you think? I'm gonna have yeah. like a bug. Yeah. Do you know what? I look like I've got swimming goggles on. Yeah. Big. <laughs> also, I've got such a little head. These actually fit me probably bigger than they fit your head. So I've got a little pea head. You little pea head. That's, do you know what? I guess they are kind of like sw <laughs> swimming goggle sunglasses. So there's a little bit of timelessness to them. <laughs> You're Perfect for around the water. What's that really famous swimmer? Michael Phelps. Yeah. He's the most decorated Olympian. <laughs> I think I'm gonna see what the girls say. We shall see. I thought I would bring you out into the garden to give you a bit of an update, but um, this little area, look at these two. 
this little area has um, been taken over by pots. Still got to delegate these originally on. And also I've got some more bits and pieces from uh, Hello Petal. I've got some more thyme trees. I've also got these little mini olive trees which are just so adorable. And just some more white lavender bits for the terrace. But I thought I would give you a bit of a garden update, seeing as it's a little bit miserable. And also to put any confusion to rest, because I feel like I document my garden quite a lot and I've documented all of the planting and sowing that I've done and every single bit of these beds I did myself, all of them. I grew all of these from seed myself. Planted them, grew them in there, and then moved them out here. For some reason on TikTok, no one can seem to believe that I do this garden myself. Obviously weeding the beds and things like that, I don't do, because that's no fun in my opinion. But this entire veg patch <coughs> is all me. Bordeline! Little guard doggy. But anyway, so. Um, we're probably going to need to dig up these spinach, but I have some new spinach coming through here. These are my courgettes, which are doing really, really well at the moment. And then these are probably the most incredible beds at the moment. These are my mange too, which have just started to get flowers on them, which excites me so much. These beautiful little flowers on here. I was worried that I hadn't planted enough, but it looks like we've got quite a lot coming through. I don't know what my carrot situation is looking like. How are these guys getting on? See, down here, they're looking quite good. But I don't want to dig any of them up yet because I'm not sure they're doing much. No, definitely not yet. I'll leave those. <laughs> but lots of lovely little mange two flowers coming through. This is the bed that I recently planted. These are my moneymaker tomatoes, which can apparently be outside. I will stake them with some old willow that I've got under that potting table there. Um, these are my purple sprouting broccoli. These are some iceberg lettuce that I planted. Um, some of them haven't made it, but I think it will just leave a little bit of space for the others. So it should, it should be okay. Yes, it's all looking rather lovely. And then in here, the strawberries have gone mental. I feel like this in itself is a sign that I look after this greenhouse myself because sadly they're not looking too happy. I should have watered them yesterday and I didn't have time. It's been one of those weeks where it feels like there's lots to do but not lots to do as well. <laughs> so I'm giving them a drink now but um, I wonder if there's a way that I can document things better so that people see that it's possible for someone that does a job like mine that is sort of like time poor as such although I have tried to change that but also has the time to look after a garden because this is the worst they've got, to be honest. They don't usually, I don't usually let them get that thirsty, but um, no, I, I, kind of, I kind of wish that I'd known earlier that you didn't need to have all the time in the world in order to look after these things. Like you just might have to take, especially in the early days when you're sowing a lot of seeds, you might have to um, give up a, a weekend or a Saturday or something like that to get everything sown and then you just kind of do it in little bits and bobs in fact I remember it was Carrie's mum that was like mm, I don't spend too much time doing it and I thought gosh I might give it a go <laughs> but anyway I'm going to give everything a good water in here but look how everything is coming up in here these are I think I've actually just seen my first little courgette not courgette my first cucumber <laughs> it's written there for me so just here on this one it looks like you can see the first signs of some little baby cucumbers coming through how exciting is that so i'm going to give them a good feed these are some tomatoes as well although this one looks like it's not doing too well i'm going to leave that to dry off because it looks like it's um a bit waterlogged hmm Well, I've had another strawberry harvest. I've left these ones on there just to um, mature a little bit, but not a bad little loot. I can have some cream or some yogurt with that. And I think, I think I'd be able to find a happy medium in um, how many strawberries, like strawberry plants I'm gonna need. But I am so impressed with myself. Well, we've had dinner. I'm currently living my best life with my sausages on my lap. I've spent the most part of the evening watching, I think it's like pizza, the sausage dog on TikTok videos. 
and I've just been sending them to everyone on my WhatsApp <laughs> because they are blooming brilliant. Um, but I've also been trying to read my book. Porter's guarding it at the moment. You've been a good boy. Oh, look at that snoot. <laughs> look. Oh, you're getting bashed. Will you just kiss your brother? Oh, hello, Barkley. Hello, little puppy. Good afternoon, everyone. I have been waiting all morning to vlog. I don't know if you can hear. That like barking sound is the sound of deer in our woodland and they have been going all day. <laughs> and I thought I'd wait, but I'm gathering that they're not gonna stop anytime soon. So we're just gonna embrace the wonderful sounds of deer's barking and uh, just carry on as normal. At least it's not my dogs that are barking and they seem pretty chilled by the whole thing. To be honest, usually something like that would send them round the twist, but they seem to have got accustomed to the countryside sounds. But if it's the uh, postman on the other hand, ho ho ho, we're in for a barkathon, aren't we Porty? Barkley is always chewing something and I only ever find out what it is when he does a poo a few hours later. <laughs> In the kitchen preparing my lunch, I actually had strawberries and yoghurt and the strawberries were the ones that I picked yesterday so I had them this morning for my breakfast and now I'm having lunch from the kitchen garden. Um, I'm just preparing my usual salad that I love with mozzarella and balsamic vinegar and things like that. Um, one thing I would say if you're planning on growing lettuce, I wash every leaf individually because there are these little like tiny slugs that live in the leaves and I'm not about to eat one of those. So yes, I always wash each individual leaf, place it in the colander and then uh, drain them all out that way. Would you like a little bit of lettuce? Here you go. Good boy. You always want something. It's usually our food. Right. Salad. This is one of the best things in my kitchen. I don't use any of the special ones that you um, squeeze your lemons on and it drips into the drip, drip tray. This, you just grab it, shove it in <laughs> and just squeeze it and it always gets out so much more juice than just using it by hand. It's a lovely little wooden one. I got this from Pro Cook and it is game changing. Ali, do you want any salad? Okay. More for me then. Okay, I have changed about a hundred times today. Um, I've just filmed a TikTok and not for this skirt. This skirt is actually from Amazon and I've popped it with my Reese bodysuit. I actually unboxed uh, three of these Reese bodysuits because my other one, I washed it and there was a stain on it and it didn't come out. And I was like, this is horrendous. And I ruined one already. So I've ordered three, but they only had them in stock in Brown Thomas in Ireland. So I had them posted to my brother and sister-in-law in, -in uh, Ireland, who then posted it to me <laughs> um, in England. So now I have three brand new ones, which I'm very happy about. I have just unboxed the bag for TikTok, um, but obviously I'm just gonna do it again here. It's actually a better size than I thought it was gonna be, but they still need to do this as a mini with a crossbody. Oh my goodness. If Carolina Herrera do this bag as a mini with a crossbody, I will genuinely lose my mind. Like, why are they not doing these bags as minis? But this itself is a phenomenal. I'm moving that out of the way because it is jarring my life. It is a phenomenal sized bag. It is nowhere near the size of my Celine. Uh, beach bag. It is definitely smaller. I'd say this is in line with a Birkin 30 when you have the sort of sides 
um, pushed out, maybe just a little bit wider. It doesn't have any kind of clasp closure. It makes it a little bit safer that um, it has this flap, which I think is a brilliant part of the design. Again, I would just love to see this smaller and with a crossbody because it is so gorgeous. I'll show you it like now, but if you want to see it styled up with an outfit, um, you can go and check out my TikTok because I've done it there, but I'll just show you briefly with this outfit. Please excuse the light pouring in behind me, but it is late on in the evening. This is just a quick outfit that I've thrown on. This is the bag on for size reference. And the only thing I would say is it has arrived and it definitely has a scratch on the leather. Now it's probably gonna get scratched anyway, but I would have liked to have known that before I bought it full price because it would have been nice to make my own scratches and not be dealing with somebody else's scratches. The only thing that I can imagine is that someone bought this, it was scratched, they've returned it because there was only one in stock and I've been waiting for this to be restocked for such a long time. And also how much of a vibe is that? lavender shadow over the bag oh my goodness that is so beautiful but i love it i love it so i might email them see if there's anything they can do because i think that's just a little bit rubbish but other than that it's gorgeous you may not be able to see them too well but i am oh big yawns i am just tucking these two into bed and it is my favorite part of the evening because i tuck these two cheesy twists into bed and then I go and get into bed with Lumi as well. Good night, my boys. Well, you know that I showed you the uh, deer barking in our woodland. Well, one of our neighbors has just shown us the baby deer and mummy coming into their garden close enough for them to be stroked. And I asked them whether they thought that these are the ones that are barking and they seem to think that it is. How magical is that? I think Ali is a little bit jealous because he is not in bed and I have a funny feeling he's gone outside looking for them. Ali? Yeah. Where are you? Are you looking out for the deer? Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely not looking out for the deer. That's you sat at your office <laughs> doing work. <laughs> no. Well, I've got some fresh pajamas on and I'm getting ready for bed. So I'm going to just do a very quick, very, very quick skincare routine with you. Or bedtime routine, whatever you want to call it. And I use the Beauty Pie Mascara. So it's the first day using a waterproof mascara. So I'm gonna try the um by face perfect eye makeup remover. See if that gets it off. I'm gonna need some cotton pads. Very waterproof. Wow. <laughs> Usually I use like warm water to kind of loosen it up, up a little bit on its own, but not today, Satan. think I almost think this is too good of a waterproof mascara because it doesn't appear to be loosening at all which is great if that's what you want <laughs> but I'm worried I might you lose a few eye I can't get my words out a few eyelashes in the process I mean it is coming off a bit but let's try some foaming cleanser shall we <laughs> Hmm, still feels like I have mascara on. Yeah, I definitely do still have mascara on. <laughs> so if you want a waterproof mascara that doesn't come off, I think this is the one for you. I don't know if this is the one for me because I don't use balm cleansers that often. And it doesn't seem to be working with this eye makeup remover. I oh, know that feels good now. Okay, so it just takes a little bit of time, but well, that's quite a lot of time. That's a lot longer than it usually takes me. But then again, you want it to stay. Okay, so 
So I don't think it's bad, but um, if you're in a rush, maybe not the one. <laughs> I'm gonna double cleanse my face with the, by the way, the cleanser that I was using is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. Okay. Okay, they feel clean. They definitely feel cleaner anyway. This is the point where I use my Skin and Me uh, daily doser, so I just basically pop this until it clicks. Take every last piece of this, massage it between my fingers and get it onto my face. And I spread it as quickly as possible because it does kind of um, almost like disappear into the skin. Whilst that does its thing, I tidy up because I've made a mess. You can probably hear our aircon going as well. Put some lip balm on because I don't like getting the skin in me on my lips. It kind of makes them dry. So I'm using my new Beauty Fire Super Healthy Skin Nourishing Lip Balm SPF 30. Lovely stuff. I'm going to pop the lid on. Uh, spritz my Uber Youth Chest and Neck Super Lift Serum Spray. I have absolutely annihilated this. I love this as a skincare piece because I am terrible at applying things to my face and neck. I don't like um, like the dragging sensation because I'm like, oh my god, how much damage are you doing every single day when you do this? So this, I just spritz on my chest and neck and that's what I do I let it just soak in I do that morning and night and it does the job perfectly my skin is now tingling by the way because uh, my skin and me is starting to work I'm gonna brush my teeth as well I actually put my lip balm on a little bit premature then I usually do it after my teeth brushing then I Oh no, I haven't got my, my magnesium cream down here. It's upstairs in my cupboard. And I would usually put my magnesium body butter on. And I'm also going to do my foot topia because I put this on this morning and it feels incredible. So popping this on my feet to just soak in whilst I sleep. To be honest, I should probably do this once I'm in bed, which I will do for my future evening beauty bits and pieces. I'll pop that by my bed in the cupboard and uh, I'll just put a layer on and jump into bed. Uh, pajamas are on. These are a pair of intermissimi pajamas and I am now going to wash my hands because I've just touched my feet. And then, my favorite bit, I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do my uh, my hyaluronic acids in the morning from Arden because I'm doing my skin and me tonight so I'm gonna add the hydration in the morning. But I am going to add my usual Japan Fusion Elixir because it's just kind of, I feel like it helps my skin and me do even more. So I put them on, oh. Wonderful the rest into my hands and on the back of my hands and my nails and I think for the most part that is everything until the morning but I'm going to leave this vlog here now because I'm picking up my camera I'm heading down to London tomorrow for meetings and um, I've got a busy schedule next week see you then